Guys, welcome to Rockin' the Heat. Good back. There's a lot of repetitiveness in that song, um, and I can't get all funky with the uh, sound effects and stuff. But I thought that might wake me up a little better this morning. It's still 7:45 for me. Um, anyways, that was "Wake Up Rage, Rage Against the Machine." Just a little bit of it, and uh, that goes to Mitchell Watson, <coughs> who had uh, requested a little rage. So. Catching up a little bit, uh, I had posted and said that I was going to be doing this Wings of Regret challenge last night with Stephen Foley. Oh, just a sec, I had a sneeze and a yawn come at the same time. The sneeze failed, yawn came, so at least one one thing was successful. Man, man. that'd suck if both of them kind of halted each other and double whammy. It's always bad enough when the sneeze doesn't come. All right, so we went to the restaurant. Long story short, menus changed and everything. Challenge wasn't there anymore. Uh, overall, we weren't thrilled with everything at the restaurant, but we had a great time chatting. And uh, he gave me, which is now finally released as of yesterday, his mole. He's calling it a Osaka. And... I'm guessing Osaka style hot sauce. Um, I'm I'm stoked. I still have some of one of his uh, I guess version twos. I'm not sure how many versions he made. I think he made like three versions before wrapping it up, sort of deal. But if you look, you can tell this one's darker than this one, and he changed the. Uh, he changed a couple things, but he uh, changed the brand of uh, cocoa that he's using in it um, without giving away any details. But uh, I didn't ask about the whole process. But uh, yeah, so I did comment though that with this version, it seems like it separates a little bit at the top, like pretty easy, and it's a little bit more watery. I noticed right away. I was, um, I looked at this one, I was like, oh, the color's different, and it's a little smoother. Um, yeah, it's a little, like, creamier or smoother. Uh, really, it's just a little thicker. Maybe that's the big difference. But uh, I left it sitting overnight, and I didn't see anything separate. This will separate at the top overnight, for sure. There's some stuff, so it's like definitely a shake well sauce. I still shake my sauce as well, but uh, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and uh, read off ingredients and description. It says heat level 5 out of 10. For average Joe, we'll be to uh, judge of that. Our signature mole is a celebration of Central American cuisine with a twist of citrus and a little extra heat from habanero peppers. Mole goes on goes well on Mexican cuisine, meats, eggs, and so much more. This product contains no additives or preservatives and is gluten-free. Um, get it at polyshotsauce.com currently. Um, the ingredients are as follows. 
Now, some of you might want to know, uh, sodium content is 15 milligrams. Uh, ingredients, jalapeno peppers, tomatoes, red onions, orange juice concentrate, lime juice, white wine vinegar, molasses, tomatillos, habanero peppers, cocoa, sea salt, natural hickory smoke flavor, cinnamon, cumin, cloves, and oregano. All right, let's go ahead and peel the top off this guy. I'm probably gonna uh, crack that other one too. If you're wondering why it has a clear seal on it, um, if you can even tell that it has a clear seal on it, but it does. Um, it's because uh, Foley had given me a bunch for my wedding and someone had the bright idea to put them all out on the tables and pull all of the uh, seals off of them. Um, so I quickly was like, no, what are you doing? And I snatched one of them <laughs> before it got open. So I knew that it wasn't an open bottle. So this one I know for sure never got opened. Um, well, actually two of them because I wanted to send two of them out. Um, I sent one to Joe at Heaton Up. Um, and then uh, I kept this one to send to Steve Gillespie. But what I think I'm gonna do is actually get him the final version uh, to, and send to him since I haven't sent him his package, Steve Gillespie over at uh, Heat My Shorts. Alright, so go ahead and crack this open. I should crack both of them open at the same time. I, that way I can smell back and forth, smell comparisons. Just not that it matters, not that you can get this one anymore. I'm just curious, you know, the, the change in the progress. Just as a sauce maker, it's something that you want to get into. Being able to get your sniffer working properly, which I don't think mine works all that fantastic. This one is more savory. This one definitely has a uh, more citrusy note to it. Yeah, this one's lighter. This one's definitely heavier. We'll see which one I end up liking more because uh, I was really digging this version on Mexican food. Like, really digging it. This is one of my favorite all time sauces. No joke. I think he's going to be selling this sauce for a very reasonable price. Uh, please don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure he's selling this for $6 a bottle. Which is very reasonable. I don't know why I put the cap back on. There's stuff at the top, and I'm trying to get it out of there. It's not plugged, but I just want to get, you know, that little rim off of there. Eh, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna taste uh, the final version here first. All right. Actually, no, I'm gonna taste the first, or version two, whatever version this one is. Here's a pour. All right, rocking the heat. Let's get some mole in me this morning. He was using a different pepper in this one, if I remember right. I'm not gonna say which one because I don't remember for sure. I think he was using a chocolate pot of some sort in this. Okay. So where are we at with this one? I'm going to get a little more. Whoa. Up and over the lip. So 
since I don't have the ingredient list for this one, can't really go off much, but there's heat, a little tiny bit of sweetness to it, savoriness for sure. I'm not really good at picking out a bunch of notes, but um, I will just now taste the final version and we'll do a little comparison. Oh yeah, I like the consistency of this one a bit more, for sure. Just, it's just that much more, or just that little bit thicker. I can taste the, the sweeterness, uh, the citrus notes in this. Sweeterness. Write that down. I feel like I can actually even taste the habanero peppers, but I think I'm just getting like that fruitiness. I'm not sure if you had orange juice concentrate in, in the other version. I want to say no. Okay. I can taste the tomato and tomatillo, but in there with the orange juice concentrate. So it's definitely not as savory. Hmm. Interesting. Until I try it on food, I'm not sure what to think. It's, it's not as hot as that, uh, this version. Yeah, they definitely hit you different. Huh. I'm actually having a hard time <laughs> making my mind up on which one I like more, which that's kind of tough. Huh. Interesting. Well, can't make up my final decision until I eat it on food because I just don't think tasting a sauce by itself brings out all of the flavors that a sauce can have. Um, I've had some sauces that actually don't taste that great by themselves. And then you put it on a sandwich or you put it on eggs, put it on something, and boom, all of a sudden the sauce is awesome. Uh, so, um, and kind of had it vice versa, where a sauce that you taste on the spoon tastes pretty awesome, but on food it's like, does it, it almost clashes or something with almost all the food that you put it on or something. So, or, or it's just not as versatile on food, where some sauces are much more versatile on food. Yeah, so, Polly's Moe, available at polyshotsauce.com. Pol Polays? Police. Policehotsauce.com. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description below for sure. Um, I hope you guys have a great morning uh, and a great Sunday. If it is your day off, uh, if not, I hope when you do get to your day off, it's awesome. Uh, might do something a little later today, but uh, otherwise, I appreciate all the support I've been getting from you guys and. Uh, yeah, just uh, enjoying uh, all the feedback in the comments and whatnot. Again, if you have more song suggestions or whatnot, just uh, let me know, and I'll I'll see if I can pick it up. Uh, but yeah, so last day of these guys. I might come back on later today with one more video or something, but if not, I'm looking at my pile over there on the ground, which I almost included in a picture that I posted on Instagram can see a little bit of it. I'm not going to tell you what picture it is. You can see a little bit of something if you if you look right. 
anyways, uh, yeah, my day's going to be awesome, I know that, and uh, yeah, I'm really thankful for all the positive stuff that's been happening in my life recently, and uh, I feel very thankful that I can give back, so rock on guys, and I'll see you in the next one.